What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where I'm going to cover the map by keys method in Laravel. We're already familiar with the map method, which is a great way for transforming collections of data. But what if you want to transform a collection to an associative array? This is where the map with keys method comes in handy. Let's take the article model that we have as an example again, where we're going to retrieve all articles along with their author's name and email address. To do so, we can use the with method. The width method is used for eager loading the related data. So let's say that we want to eager load the user model and we can then change the get method to it and also the map with keys method. Now let me make it a little bit smaller. Now inside the map with keys function, we're gonna pass in a callback function. And inside the callback function, we basically have to say that every single article we're plucking will be equal to one single article. Then inside our callback function, we can simply return an array where we can then define an associative array where the key of every item will be our article ID, where we then have an associative array of values inside of it. So inside the array, we could basically say, well, the title is article title. But let's say that we have the created underscore at timestamp, which will be article created underscore at, and then we're gonna change the format method to it because we're gonna format it as a M forward slash D forward slash capital Y. Then on the line below, we're gonna map the user underscore name, which will come from our article user name. And let's do the same thing for the user email. So let's say article user email. So let's summarize what we have done right here. We have used the map with keys method to transform the article collection into an associative array where the article ID is the key and an array of article information as the value. Quick note, we wrapped the transformed array in square brackets and passed in the return statement as an array right here. This is because the map with keys method expects an associative array as its return value. Then we said that it needs to accept a callback function which returns the associative array and one important thing to note is that the key must be unique for each item in the collection, which is true because the ID is unique. Once we perform the request, you'll see that we have received an error message because I made a typo right here. So let's say article format. Once we perform the request, you'll see that in the right panel, we have retrieved an article with a title created at, but we have then added the username and user email and you'll see that the key of an associative array has been equal to the ID. So one, two, three, and so on. Now this was it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to dive into restructuring collections using the pluck and key bind methods in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button.